So today I want to share with you how you can attract online clients without relying on 100% of social media, posting every single day, posting three to four or five times per day, not having anybody see your guys' content, the algorithm, should I boost it? Should I do paid ads? It is like a jungle out there on social media. So I have some exciting strategies to share with you guys on how you guys can get online clients really using your guys' three to five mile radius. What we call this in our accelerator mentorship with our health coaches is hustling outside social media, hustling outside social media. All right, if you haven't seen these big eyebrows before, you're probably like, why should I listen to this guy? Well, you know, aside with working with people like Patrick Bet David, Alex Hormozzi, Grant Cardone, we've also helped 850 plus health coaches and professionals the past five years, and we've been in the fitness industry the past 15 years. All right, hustling outside social media tactic number one is what we call in our accelerator mentorship mentorship, build your power list. So this is a beautiful Excel spreadsheet that we have in there. You guys can do this on Excel. You guys can do this on Microsoft Word. But what you're doing with this is building a power list of different businesses within a three to five mile radius. If you guys want to go from three to 10 miles, totally up to you guys. It'll just make the power list that much bigger. But if you want, start with a three to five mile radius because there's a lot of local businesses that you guys can partner with, right? That have your guys's traffic, your guys's clientele, right? And you guys can have a win-win situation with your guys's business, which I'm going to talk to you guys about a little bit more in the strategies later on what these tactics look like. But this is the very first strategy, right? We have to start somewhere. We have to build the foundation of this hustling outside social media. And it all starts with having this power list. So basically, you're gonna go around your three to five mile radius and be like, hey, you know, is this business good? Uh, this business, probably not too good. Okay, this business, yes, they're going on the power list, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get their name, we're gonna get their emails, right? And you can do this all off Google, right? And we're gonna get their, whoever the head owner is or whoever's in charge there at the business, right? As much information as we can get on that power list, we're gonna put that on the Excel sheet because that is going to be basically your compass to where it's like, okay, every single week, I'm gonna go look at the power list. Like how long has it been since we've reached out to the nail salon? How long has it been since since we've talked to the chiropractor down the street, right? What's their name? What can we do for them, right? Do they have an event coming up that we can help uh, promote, right? Your power list is gonna be money, okay? So that's the very first one right there, is having a power list. All right, really quick, in just under 10 minutes, what would you say if I could tell you that I could find the red areas in your business, which those are the broken areas in your guys' business, okay? What if I told you we had a 10 minute online health business scan where you guys can go through this and see where the main constraints and problematic areas are in your business? So if you look at attract, is it attracting clients? Is it capture, is it converting clients? Or is it actually coaching clients, which is like your delivery, your guys' coaching, your systems, your process, making the whole business run like a well-oiled machine. We have a free 10-minute online health business scan that you can take by yourself right there. And we couple it up with a 15-minute business consult to steer you in the right direction of like, hey, if it's attract, we recommend doing this. If it's capture, we recommend doing X, Y, Z to turn these from red to yellow and green and be able to systematize your business, make more money, and be able to help more people. If you guys are interested in that, click the link below and you guys can get access to your free business consult coupled with a 10 minute online health business scan. All right, hustling outside social media strategy number two is approaching these local businesses after you've built your guys' power list within a three to five mile radius. So let's say you guys kind of did your due diligence with this power list. Maybe you guys have about 20 different businesses on the Excel sheet, um, you know, Word doc, whatever you guys choose to use. You have all the data that you guys need. Okay. Now that was the easy part, right? Now this is the true part where it takes a little bit of sweat equity and it's gonna be a little bit of work, right? But it doesn't have to be that hard of work. It just really has to be that you need to take imperfect action on this and you have to be a human and you have to approach these companies, okay? So approaching them means basically number one, if you look at this like in the hierarchy scheme of like what's most powerful proximity wise, I would go in there and I would literally introduce myself and look them in the eye. I wouldn't do the all the millennial stuff these days where it's like, hey, what's going on? My name's Chris, right? No, no, no. You are a business owner. You are a health coaching professional. You are badass. You mean business. You can provide value, right? So you are an asset. So you're gonna go up to this business owner and you're gonna be like, hey, my name is Chris Martinez. Shake their hand hard and look them firm in the eye that you're serious, that you are here in a three to five mile radius and you can add value to that, okay? And make sure to say your guys' full name as well too because there's so many Chris's out there. If I say Chris, okay, 
great. They'll meet another crow's pie in the next like five minutes. So say your full name so they remember it. It sticks a lot more, okay? And it shows a lot of confidence in yourself too when you say your full uh, your full name there, okay? Second thing is if the, if the owner's not there or the point of contact's not there, okay, cool. Well, call them, right? And have a conversation with them. That's powerful too. The third part on the hierarchy, right, is going to be email, okay? So if you can find their email, if you can call them, if you can get their email, cool, you're gonna need like an email script. This is why we provide our students in our accelerator mentorship already pre-made email scripts so they already know like to plug and play the business in there and exactly what to say to get people's attention, okay? So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need some sort of email script drawn up and be able to send that out to the point of contact or whoever the manager is. But with this too, when you guys are approaching them, I mean, think about like different tactics you guys can do, right, with them, right? You guys can do a pop-up tactic, right? To where it's like you guys can go to a business and have a little booth there and you guys can do some sort of pop-up tactic there and give some free information, right? You guys can do a lunch and learn, which is super cool. Go into some sort of business. Maybe they have a business of like 15 to 20 employees there. You guys can do a topic on nutrition for 30 minutes. After that, you can do a call to action to booking a call or learning how to work more with you online, right? You guys can do a workout like clinic with like a company or something like that. There's so many cool things you guys can do to collaborate, to give value in exchange. They have attention and eyeballs and they bring traffic your guys' way with a, a specific, you know, tactical call to action, which is book a call, uh, get this free email, and then they can be in your guys' ecosystem with your lead magnet, text message, whatever it is. Uh, go listen to your YouTube channel, go listen to your podcast, whatever you're doing, you're getting, getting attention here, okay? So that company's providing attention for you in exchange, you are delivering the value there. That is awesome, okay? Because you're getting new people on there that eventually they could become now buyers, ready now buyers, or in the next 30, 60 or 90 days, they could be buyers in your guys' funnel and they can be online clients. Just because they're local in a three to five mile radius does not mean they have to be in-person clients where you guys are trading time for dollars, having face-to-face -face, you know, nutrition consultations in a clinic or a practice, or even you know, counting reps and sets as a personal trainer inside of a gym. Now, the next thing you need to do once a month too is attend local events inside or in your guys' city within a three to 10 mile radius. Because again, this is the opportunity to meet new business owners, shake hands, right? And actually build like that powerless and build that network in all the connections that you guys have within a three to 10 mile radius, okay? Look up on Google, right? Is there actual like meetups? Is there actual like health fairs? Is there actual events there maybe within your guys' niche? So maybe you guys work with like um, women that are getting ready for, um, you know, their wedding. So you guys can go to like a bridal show or a bridal, um, you know, trade show. You guys can go to, um, you know, farmer's markets. You guys can go to fairs. Whatever those local events are, health and wellness, whatever it is, or if they're a little bit more broad, great, go to those things. And if you guys have an opportunity to do like a sponsorship towards that you guys can pay for a booth there or a pop-up, that's even better. That's a whole nother video. That's something we recommend with our students as well too, because it's exposure. And it's it's not that expensive to be able to do that, right? So that's the thing is go to these company or go to these events and just break bread and just spend like an hour there. Make sure you bring business cards, right? You have to have business cards that have basic information on there, okay? The second thing, what I said is that, that tip and number two is shake people's hands, say your full name, and just be really firm about who you are and what you do, okay? They'll remember that, it goes a long way. The third little mini tip within this too is when you guys actually exchange information with somebody, let's say you guys go to one of these events or something like that, and you meet a videographer, you might need a videographer or something like that, okay? So when you guys type this into like your iPhone for say, put their, their full name, say it's like Mike, James, I don't know why I thought about it. Mike James, videographer, and then put the city. So like Mike James, videographer, Frisco, Texas, okay? Because what you're gonna do is like, if let's say that somebody ever comes into town, they're like, hey, I need like a videographer, any recommendations? Like, well, you can just type in your phone videographer and that's all gonna populate. And that Mike James is gonna come up and you might be able to recommend Mike to somebody that's coming into town right there. And that's gonna look great on both ends for Mike, the videographer, and the person because you recommended them and you actually referred them to each other. So you might sit there and have Mike refer you for clients or he might do some video work for you, right? Or you might go to like a city one time and you know you might need a videographer and you guys can type in your guys' contact and be like, oh, I met somebody here like in Philadelphia. I met somebody here in Miami. All because you put their number and you stored it correctly on there, like videographer, the city, all that type of stuff, okay? Or if you guys have somebody coming into town that you guys know and they want recommendations for like a restaurant or something like that, well, maybe you met a restaurant owner like at one of these like fairs or one of these events um, you know, within a three to 10 mile radius and they're like an owner, maybe like they're the head person at this really like, you know, high-end restaurant. Cool, well, you got their contact information there and you can actually 
invite somebody that's looking for a recommended restaurant out of town to this person. And I'm telling you, it just looks really good because you're the connector right there. And it goes a long way. You guys are building your guys' network. And also too, it's like what everybody says, it's all about like what you know, but it's, it's all about who you know, guys. And what else too? It's all about who knows you. So yeah, you may know a bunch of people, right? But it's like, do they know you back? And the way to do that is business cards, having your, their, saying your full name so they remember. And number three, storing their contact information in your phone correctly so that you can look people up and you guys can be the connector. You guys can cross-reference people. It's super powerful, guys. I'm telling you, okay? We've been doing this for the past 15 years. That's why we have a huge Rolodex of people that we have contact with. So if you guys do this right, you will not sit there and have to post so much damn content on social media. Unfortunately, a lot of health coaches and professionals think that the main thing is to just acquire new clients, right? Or close clients on, you know, sales like calls or enrollment calls. I mean, that's true, right? But also too, it's like, how long do you keep these clients, guys, right? Like what's the lifetime value of these clients? Like if it's three months, it's not enough. They need six to 12 months and you need that for your business as well too, for cash flow, right? So in this next video right here, we actually talk to you guys about how you guys can retain more clients in there. And it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you guys to acquire clients and you won't have to work so hard on the sales and marketing side. So make sure to watch this video.